first got in touch when you I painted your guitar. Yeah, we first yeah. met. It was years ago, you know, a few yeah, years ago. Yeah, yeah. So I that's so actually awesome. Actually, worked on his guitar, and it was kind of a little nerve wracking because it was a nice hmm. guitar, and you just I remember you're like you just cut the strings off, and yeah, I don't play any instruments or anything, but it looked like a pretty nice guitar. So did that, and then maybe you know another year or two later. I think you contacted me about this idea, but it was still like a maybe, and it was, and then and then another more time went by, and then decided, let's do it. So, um, I loved the idea, of course, to get to make a book, and this project had a lot of. It's the perfect project because there's I do a lot of books, and um, books are usually fun. They're a lot of work, but this one had the most freedom. Um, it's music. You can interpret it, you know, in many different ways. It's not literal. Um, everything you wanted, I thought, is what I would want. You know, there wasn't a lot. There was a lot of just kind of feeling the music, listening to music, making the piece. But again, not literally illustrating every single thing. Um, and, uh, and then we brought in uh, my brother for the photo side and the video stuff. So it's kind of where we work together and then separate together, separate um, throughout this project. So he lives up north, so um, it was it was a great experience, and uh, yeah, I like the, the 64 pages. It's a it's a hefty size, but it's not like too big, and, and it's casual. We, um, Peter wanted it, you know, soft cover. It's just stapled. It's not meant to overpower the music or or take away from it. Just to add to it. You can print for really cheap right now, and and you can go online and and get something printed up, pretty affordable. But the people that I talk to, even even if they don't know about printing, they're like they immediately can tell this is better. This is something different than just clicking print on your computer and stapling it together, you know. Um, but I like that quality that it's something a little nicer, but it's kind of also very casual at the same time. I it was all live. Mm -hmm. um, and that was the thing that was really special for me because Mark was in the studio and, you know... That's right. You know, like, the four of, of us, the musicians, were there and, like, you know, when you're in the same room making music, you know, there's kind of, like, a synergy that happens. And, and just having him in the room as well, you know, even if you were just hanging out, but you were, you know, projecting things and drawing things and, yeah. you know... and you know we're playing and it's like you're seeing this stuff i mean if nothing else it's changing the light but yeah. you know we're looking at these images and stuff and so it's just like it really was part of the whole vibe yeah and i was really trying to be i was a little worried about being distracting and noisy you know they're recording this music but uh you know got got into it and sometimes yeah i'd go up to the uh mm -hmm. to the recording area and and uh and be drawing while they're you know doing this wearing earplugs um, <laughs> it was, like, was, was it four days that yeah you it was did like five? well including a couple of days of rehearsal yeah. yeah i knew i wanted to do collage i and i'm glad you liked that idea i liked collage and been doing a lot more of that um collage meaning like drawing and then uh, i'm this is a xerox machine mm -hmm. that i use um you can switch out the inks um that's awesome it, it's not this a thing forever this is just a canon copier but it's the the, uh, the 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 inks are really kind of hard to get now. Mm. You get brown, blue, um, green, red, mm -hmm. and they're pretty much hard to find anything. Um, but uh, so I'll have to figure you start out something. Putting your own ink on there, like yeah. squirting it on those. Yeah. Things. So these pieces are made with like this hand drawn and then run through a Xerox. Uh, I do a lot of my work that way. But I you know I use uh, spray paint and. Um, this is an awesome marking paint. It's just for like roads. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I use this a lot. Accidents happen. Fun, fun little glitches happen. We're on a computer, which I do a lot of computer work, and and I did do some um, for the book a lot of it. It ended up in the computer. Yeah, it ended up in the computer. Yeah. Really, what we did on tape just got dumped in the computer, but you know, to it was mixed on the computer, so yeah. Yeah. It's very similar, actually, way of this is hand done analog 
you know, using these kind of clunky machines, I can, I'll run, I'll run paper through this over and over again to, to match. Because you can only run one color at a time. Mm -hmm. So you got to switch it out, then you run the green, you switch it out, run the red. So it, and you can line it up pretty good. You could get pretty close to perfect if you want to, like silk screen, or you could kind of, you know, I'll just kind of guess and go, I think this, this <laughs> is about where that is. I mean, there's even these stickers on there that are just left that will reproduce onto the art. And uh, hmm. if I don't like them digitally, I can take them out, but hmm. mostly I just leave it. Um, yeah, it's I like that process. Uh, but really it was all, I mean, a lot of it was done together. I mean, you weren't creating the book in the studio, but right. just... Well, definitely uh, things that ended up in the book, you know, like photographs of your art yeah. from the studio sure, or in the sure. book. And, and once I get, and then once you sent me the um, the rough, you sent me the uh, Demos demo or, uh, yeah. of you, and then, I, I'll, you know, of course, that was inspiring to create the work, and then the recording of it affected it. Um, mm -hmm. And then, uh, yeah, just it all kind of. It was back and forth on it, back and forth. But uh, I mean, some of these things I drew when I was like on jury duty. Actually, is a good time for me to like, like I, I just flew back from Texas and I did a ton of drawings on the plane because I can, it's quiet and you, and you have no choice. You can't get up, can't go mm -hmm. do the laundry, take a break. Mm -hmm. So jury duty is actually the perfect, I don't, because <laughs> I don't mind jury duty, which yeah. is weird, but yeah, it's just quiet and you just, it's like study hall. It's like when I lived in New York on the subway, I got all my ideas. You're sitting there, got ideas for books and road trips, things like that. Mm -hmm. But uh, but definitely going to the studio, um, you gave me a ton of um, slides mm. that we projected and Just then I defaced and ruined. Random them. images? <clears throat> Pretty much, yeah. There were mm. slides that we had taken on tour with a previous band of mine and just from old analog slide projector and it was just it would just go through these old slides some of them were our friends old family slides and some of them were from ebay but mm -hmm. a lot of random stuff kind of portraits and stuff lot, but yes i'm end up in, in the book mm -hmm. but mark was like you know kind of scratching them and drawing them and then projecting them and yeah um painting as they're them. playing yeah do you write the lyrics <laughs> i wrote some I tried to get my daughter to write some, but she wouldn't do it. <laughs> and then my nephew wrote some of them, too. Oh. Mostly they're Mark's, uh, mm -hmm. Mark's alter egos. I tried to be a little different, and but I can tell which ones are mine, definitely. But mm -hmm. I'm glad if they look all different. Mm -hmm. but yeah. It's probably about half, maybe. Mm -hmm. You think more for me? I don't know. Yeah. but Yeah, about half. There was, you know, a pretty solid concept behind the the record and, and therefore the art and in the lyrics and it, and it was kind of a lot of it was drawing on like a teen experience mm -hmm. and so you know that i feel like the art kind of reflects that it just it reminds me of you know something you might see on you know written in someone's notebook or, or you know just folder, like yeah. and it marks hand you know that his his hand is just like has such a human quality I, I don't i'm not like an art cr art critic but mm -hmm. i don't know how to describe it but it's just yeah. like it's it's got it's it's such a character to it you know and it, it just fit with the whole concept of the whole thing i feel like yeah i really i mean I, like i said it was a perfect project for me because mm -hmm. you know sometimes i will get commercial work where i kind of have to think differently in what i normally do but luckily luckily i have to say more and more and most of the time i get to uh, channel what I want to do into the pieces. I think, I think my work, people, you know, people often ask, well, you know, what if you have to do this or that job, or how do you get these jobs that match your work so well? And I think it's just over time, people, if they're gonna call me to hire me to do a job, they've already like, they know it. what you're. They already know what they're gonna get, and they also already have gotten their boss's approval. I probably lost so many jobs where the boss was just like, no, you know, <laughs> this is too weird. So, yeah. which I don't know about, which is mm -hmm. fine. But so that's kind of nice. I don't have to do, you know, every once in a while. But most of the time, I get to have these really fun projects um, that mm -hmm. my personality can infuse with it. And uh, yeah, I've never wanted to be the illustrator that uh, necessarily solved conceptual problems. I wanted to be more about the the visual feel and emotion of the pieces um so music's perfect he yeah. started with the demos it was yeah. just so it was yeah you know That's the music wasn't even realized yeah. but you were part of the process and kind of vibing off yeah. the songs in their kind of rawest form. yeah i think that's the way to go i mean i i 
that's kind of there's you know there's a lot of talk about in advertising working that way from the from the ground up they call it you know where you're you're not designing something or a car or whatever it is and then at the end bringing in an artist to say tell it we wanted to say this where the product mm -hmm. doesn't even say that mm -hmm. you're you're mm -hmm. you from the beginning we don't know exactly what the project was going to end up like but I from start to finish by working with them I can it's 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 flows together much much better than trying yeah. to at the end figure out what, what were you trying to say I, I, our stories may differ slightly but um, that piece was an existing piece that Mark had done actually pre you know I don't know if it was years ago but previously maybe a year earlier and like when at the very beginning when I was kind of looking at your stuff and like talking mm -hmm. about stuff I like yeah. or whatever like that was the first image I was drawn to, like it was like, yeah, that's that's, that's what, what you're I see for. Mm -hmm. on on the front of a kid's notebook, you know, yeah. like, and um, especially with the little kind of graffiti and stuff all over it. Yeah. Um, and it's, so, but then we didn't come back to it till mm -hmm. you know we had to have a, a cover, you know, we had to choose a cover yeah. out of all these images that we had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then and you decided that just one. like I think I did some other that. cover <laughs> ideas or had some ideas on covers mm -hmm. because uh, I don't normally reuse images actually. Mm -hmm. But um, again, I totally agree. I think it was the perfect choice. Um, and it's funny is because that that tiger is drawn from like a school mascot type yeah. approach, mm -hmm. and I it meant to be that. And because uh, mm -hmm. it it doesn't. I mean, it looks like my work overall, but in a way, you can tell that that like. And I intentionally pull that from something that exists. Mm -hmm. So it's a it's a memory. It's again going back to um, childhood, kind of remembering, you know high school or your your team mascot or or whatever cool shirt you had so mm -hmm. and then the graffiti it's exactly right it was meant to be kind of defacing it there's there's humor yeah. in the piece but it's also it's like a melancholy feel you know and the, and bringing in colors like pink and things that maybe aren't um the usual maybe whatever you want to call it masculine colors mm -hmm. it's kind of makes it more interesting and more modern to me but uh yeah that that piece was all uh, made Pretty much entirely on that copy machine, so you can see there's really? blue, is that, brown, and is green. Is that like a cardboard paper? Even yeah, like, is just, that like a paper bag? It's actually, um, I, whenever I can find old paper, I'll, I'll grab it. And it's from, um, it's just really old paper that uh, from a photo album. Uh, like when they used to mount them in there, and then they'd fall out, and then they they turn, they'd yellow and mm -hmm. and turn. So, uh, yeah, it's a. Uh, it's just a yellowed paper. You can kind of faintly see. It's almost impossible to see. It's only there because I can see it. Is there is a, a version of the tiger reversed, flipped. In green. And his eyes over here now. Oh, yeah. Is it it's in, in that green? It's in brown, I think. Oh, oh there's one eye there. It's just faint, oh, and then yeah. I probably was like, huh. you know what I probably did was just. Uh, so that gave that green stripe there. It was this, yeah, this, right? Yeah, there, maybe green there. and brown, and then the and then huh. the, the blue. It's good um, to know. Yeah, the, it's kind of a ghost yeah. shape, and I think I ended up having digitally darkening the blue just so because it popped. Because you gotta have a. And then the brown one is just offset facing this yeah. way as well. and I have it all, you know. Again, that was not intentional. It was probably just a mistake. Yeah, just flipped it. Yeah, <laughs> but all, yeah. all along, uh, one of the production, you know, aesthetics, definitely for the music, but I think also for the art was like, not overthink it and yeah. not make it too precious. And, yeah. You know, with with the yeah. photos and everything. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, some of those like I've also learned through. I've been illustrating since '93, so over the you know you learn. Sometimes you overdo things. Sometimes you feel like you know, oh, if I put a thousand, not not that you don't put a lot of work mm -hmm. into things, but sometimes things come easy, and that, and I teach my students that too. Is um, Sometimes you can spend an hour on a piece and it's way better than something you spend 30 hours mm -hmm. on. Mm -hmm. Actually, most of the time it's better. Same with music. Yeah. And recording. Yeah. Sure. And so a lot of time people are afraid to like, or if you spend 30 hours on something, they're afraid to throw it out or yeah. start over. Um, and you'll just spend so much more time worrying about fixing something instead of just attacking it new again. And that, that was a lot of these pieces were, you know, some were... Some were quick and very easy, like the music. Short songs, quick, loud. Mm -hmm. um, and some were a little more um, uh, almost meditative in a way, but more like kind of zoning out. And, and like you would do when you're in 
third period, you know, maybe you're drawing, like, you know, or, or even just trace something or just doodle, basically doodling. And I, you know, I think that really fits a lot of the, a lot of the art in the book is doodling, obsessive drawing, but also uh, spontaneous and not worrying if it's, if it's right or wrong. I, I, I sign a lot of, uh, when I go and, you know, pe have people, you know, they bring books or things I've done, I have to sign it. I used to be so nervous about or worried about, oh my God, I'm going to, because I do a little drawing mm -hmm. for them. I'm like, this is going to look crappy or is this going to look good? And it's funny that the, the way to get over that is to like not care if it's crappy and then it doesn't ever get crappy. It's kind of weird. <laughs> like if you worry it's going to be a crappy piece, it, it will be. Yeah. If you, if you just know it might be or you don't really care, even if it is, it's funny. Except. It's better. Except. <laughs> um, yeah, so I feel like I'm in a, in a, a good place with mark making right now it was because you know i mean to be totally honest there's times where i was doing really well making a lot of money doing drawings but i just didn't like them i was doing pieces for the new yorker and rolling stone and and you know i'll still do jobs like that but um there was just not i wasn't feeling it but then when people keep hiring you you're like maybe i don't even know what i if i'm good i better listen to them They're, they keep calling me and then you just finally have to realize like no, you know, you I want to do, do what I like to yeah. do, and hopefully they will, they will follow, and uh, that's been happening more and more. So I, I'm happy with that. Crows in the bed, make me a chat night. Look how what? <laughs> so it's like, <laughs> oh, that, that was a, that's huge. a big page. Yeah.